Our grandparents' diet affected our DNA. How do we know this, and can we change it? My name is Robert Needleman. I'm a molecular biologist and biochemist. Welcome to Empower My DNA. There's an isolated community of farmers in Sweden. They go through periods of bounty and famine based on the harvest. Dr. Bygren used historical records to study lineages. He found that adolescents who grew up during famines had children and grandchildren that lived decades longer than their counterparts. Conversely, bountiful harvests with gorging produce children and grandchildren who live significantly shorter lives due to higher rates of cardiovascular disease and diabetes. The patterns of eating caused epigenetic marks to be put on their DNA in adolescence that were passed on to their children and even their grandchildren. This is an amazing result. Here's the good news. We can change the story we've inherited. What we eat, how we move, how we live can reset those marks for ourselves, for our children, and even our grandchildren. Everything we do affects our epigenetics, positively or negatively. The Mediterranean diet is rich in foods that support our health through epigenetics. Please limit ultra-processed foods as much as possible. They have negative effects on our epigenetics. Exercise has significantly positive effects on our epigenetics and increases our health span. Deep sleep and quality sleep have a very positive impact on our epigenetics. Take a minute to smile or laugh. Positive emotions strengthen our immune system through epigenetics. We can write our own story and even influence our future children and even our future grandchildren by affecting our epigenetics moment to moment. Every day, you're literally becoming more and more uniquely you through epigenetics. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a wonderful day.